Welcome back guys to another video and let's talk about how to completely avoid nice hash fees. So nice hash fees are way too high right now and you have to pay up to 5% every week or every month depending on how big your mining rig is. And I will show you a way how you can completely avoid them and you won't even have to pay a single satoshi to transfer money from the nice hash wallet to your own personal wallet which you control with your private keys. So if you go to online stats for your miner, you can just enter your Bitcoin address here and to show you all of this information. And if you scroll down a little bit here, you can see the last transaction that was paid to your own wallet. So the last transaction that I got was 694,000 satoshis and the fee was 36,000 satoshis. So that means that the fee was 5% of the total money that I made by mining that week. And this is way too much, especially if you compare it to the average transaction fee on the Bitcoin network. If we go to bitinfocharts.com and we just zoom here a little bit, you can see that the average transaction fee right now is 1.3 dollars and remember that we paid three dollars so that is 200 percent more than we should have paid by the average transaction fee and if you even send the transaction with like 50 cents 30 cents or something like that your transaction will also be done really really fast and the average transaction fee is one dollar now because some people pay way too high of transaction fees because they don't know that they can get their transactions done with only like 20 or 30 cents so they pay ten dollars just to be sure which is really insane so how do we avoid those nice hash transaction fees First, you have to make a wallet on NiceHash.com. So this will be the internal wallet that NiceHash uses for you to mine on. And the difference between internal wallet and the external wallet from, let's say, if you use your Bitrex exchange wallet, is that if you use internal wallet, you can transfer as little as 0.001 Bitcoins. But if you use something like Bitrex wallet, you can transfer only when you have more than 0.01 Bitcoins or when the nice team feels like giving you your money. And sometimes that is every five days, sometimes that is every one week, but sometimes it takes like two or three weeks, which is way too long. So when you go to nicehash.com, and you make your own private wallet and you will go then to dashboard right here and you will see this screen so over here you will get your own internal wallet address so the first thing you have to do is mine on that address so you open your nice miner you go over here to the wallet and you just copy and paste this address that you got over here and click save I won't do that because I don't want to mine on their own internal wallet because a lot of people lost money that way because of the hack that happened like four or five months ago. So once you do that and you mine as little as 0.001 bitcoins, you can transfer that money to the Coinbase account. You just click over here wallet and you will get this screen right here. And of course it won't say 0.00, it will say the amount that you have. And you click like this on withdraw. And over here you can withdraw to your Coinbase account, as you can see, as little as 0.001 Bitcoins and it is instant. And there are absolutely no fees at all. And this only works with Coinbase accounts, you can't use any other accounts like Bitrex account or KuCoin account or Binance. You can only do this with Coinbase account. So you just register on the Coinbase and you withdraw that money to Coinbase. But you can send that money from Coinbase to anywhere else without fees. And the way you can fix that is if you just register also for the GDEX account. And if you have Coinbase account, you will also get a GDEX account because that is the same company. So then you transfer your money from the Coinbase account to the GDEX account. And from GDEX, you can send that money anywhere you want without any fees. GDEX actually pays fees for wherever you want to send those Bitcoins and almost as little as you want to send them. So I hope that helped a lot of you to avoid those insanely high fees, like 5%. This is way too much, especially if you mine like $1,000 per month, then paying them $50 in fees is just something that a lot of people should start avoiding. And because you have a free option to just transfer that money to Coinbase and then from Coinbase to GDEX and from GDEX, you can do it wherever you want without any fees. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if there is something else about NiceHash that you are interested in and see you soon in another one. Bye.